coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Pivotal opens order books for Helix. Delays coming for NASA's moon program. 2023 was very good to MD helicopters. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Pivotal opens order books for Helix. Pivotal, previously named Opener, is accepting orders for its successor to the Blackfly eVTOL, the Helix. The opening price stands at $190,000, sales, taxes, and fees, etc., with the $250 deposit securing place in line. First customer shipments are expected to begin on June 10, 2024. Once known under its prior name, Opener, Pivotal made waves with the human demonstrable single-seat battery-powered VTOL aircraft at AirVenture 2022. That aircraft, the Black Fly, proved to be a prelude to the Helix, a more modernized, production-ready aircraft. While customers have obtained their Black Flies, the Helix should prove to be quicker at penetrating the burgeoning eVTOL market with a clear, streamlined order process and constant manufacturing at scale. One Black Fly pilot was happy to see a second model join the lineup. Dean Owen said, quote, As one of Pivotal's Black Fly customers, I can't wait for more pilots to join the fold. There's no better feeling than flying in this aircraft, and I want to share it with people like me who have dreamt of flying for a long time. This is an exciting moment to get in on the Helix and a growing community of Pivotal pilots, end quote. And after the break, Hyundai shows off newest AAM prototype at CES 2024. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. There's a lot of places I get to at the end of the runway or in turnarounds that I need an engine running. So to me, it's very important to have a product that I'm absolutely confident with. I am very confident with the Trailblazer propeller. And when I'm flying air shows, I know that propeller's gonna be right for me. Coming to Sun and Fun's 50th fly-in celebration, Trace Atkins for an opening day concert. I've told the war since I was a kid between Jesus and John. Don't miss Trace Atkins with special guest Sarah Evans. Ponytail girl grown up to be a woman, now she's gone in a blink of an eye. Get your tickets now and be a part of the kickoff celebration for Sun and Fun's 50th fly-in. Go to flysnf.org. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Hyundai shows off newest AAM prototype at CES 2024. Supernal, a Hyundai Motor Group subsidiary, showed off its SA2 concept at CES 2024. The 2 plus 2 electric aircraft is, quote, the latest milestone in Supernal's roadmap to commercialize safe, efficient, and affordable everyday passenger air travel, end quote, according to the mark. The SA2 is said to have a 120 mile per hour cruise at 1,500 feet AGL, allowing city operations of 25 to 40 mile trips. Distributed propulsion is provided by eight tilting rotors, all being designed to provide power quietly and continuously. Mike Gaffney's complete Garmin G1000 Pilot's Handbook released. Sentia Publishing has released the complete G1000, a pilot's handbook by Michael G. Gaffney. Learning the entire gamut of functions inside the G1000 sometimes take concerted study and application over time, ingraining habits pilots can count on. Michael Gaffney attempts to ease that learning curve for newbies, leveraging his history as a Gold Seal Master Flight and Ground Instructor, ATP, A&P, and Quality Process Management Expert. Ryanair sees aircraft shortage in the cars for summer 2024. Euro carrier Ryanair says it plans on being a little short-handed this summertime travel season, to the point it will have to reduce its expected travel growth. 
Chief Exec Michael O'Leary told journos that Ryanair would likely be about 5 to 10 aircraft short of where it would like to be by the end of spring 2024, despite some fresh deliveries on the calendar in the coming months. Originally, the carrier expected 57 new Boeing 737 MAX aircraft delivered by May 1st, but Boeing's myriad issues in recent years have seen that expectation come and go. X-66 Boeing concept goes under the scanner. Boeing has begun working on its future X-66 sustainable flight demonstrator, taking off its engines and completing 3D metrology scans to make their plan of attack. The donor aircraft, an MD-90, will see its wings replaced with a transonic truss-braced wing, a design featuring ultra-thin cords braced by struts with a larger span and higher aspect ratios. The resulting wingspan should be wider and more aerodynamically efficient than a traditional wing, allowing improved fuel burn and lower emission generation. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Delays coming for NASA's moon program. NASA updated its schedule for its Artemis campaign, glossing over delays that have been introduced to the original schedule. Claiming that the program will establish the foundation for long-term scientific exploration of the moon, as well as pull off some politically correct placement of non-white and non-male astronauts on the lunar surface, while supposedly preparing for human expeditions to Mars. NASA posits or excuses itself by noting that, quote, to safely carry out these missions, agency leaders are adjusting the schedules for Artemis 2 and 3 to allow teams to work through challenges associated with first-time developments, operations, and integration, end quote. NASA will now target September 2025 for Artemis 2, the first crewed Artemis mission around the moon, and September 2026 for Artemis 3, which is planned to land the first astronauts near the lunar south pole. Artemis 4, the first mission to the Gateway Lunar Space Station, remains on track for 2028. In addition to the schedule updates for Artemis 2 and 3, NASA is reviewing the schedule for launching the first integrated elements of Gateway, previously planned for October 2025, to provide additional development time and better align that launch with the Artemis 4 mission in 2028. And after these messages, 2023 was very good for MD helicopters. SkyLeader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, SkyLeader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. SkyLeader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. 2023 was very good for MD Helicopters. MD Helicopters is bragging about a record order book for the fiscal year 2023. The company experienced an increase in demand, resulting in the highest number of annual orders since 2008. MD Helicopters reportedly credits this accomplishment to its renewed commitment to customer satisfaction, enhancing aftermarket services, and striving for excellence in both the military and commercial sectors. The company's focus to, quote, providing top-tier products and services have resonated with customers worldwide and across various markets, end quote, resulting in the substantial growth observed in 2023. Among the key contributing factors to this success, MD Helicopters claims to have significantly improved customer support, increased investment in direct communications with customers, enhanced manufacturing efficiencies, ensured in-stock spares availability, and maintained healthy supplier relations. In addition to the 12 aircraft going to the Nigerian federal government announced earlier this year, recent commercial transactions involved MD 530Fs designated for multi-use missions. These additions include VIP aircraft sales, featuring an expansion to the Clemens Aviation Fleet, procurement by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for agricultural missions, and fulfilling various utility needs such as those of WCF Aerospace, representing Skydance Helicopters that specializes in power and utility services, amongst others. 
MDH is actively pursuing an approach that emphasizes both military and commercial sales. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.